Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to control your electrical appliance using Internet of Thing and Artificial Intelligence based chatbot. So that you can control your appliance from any corner of world using Facebook Messenger. Internet of Thing and Artificial Intelligence is one of the most burning topic among electronic hobbyist and a student. So before I start it, please subscribe the channel in order to get notification of various other interesting project. In order to make this project, we need hardware, software and few other third party applications like Facebook Messenger, Chatfield Platform, IFTTT Server and Adafruit IO. In order to make this project, you have to set up various other things like Facebook page, server, Adafruit, IO, etc. So let's see each and every step in detail. All the useful link used in this project is given in description section. The first step is to create a Facebook page. For that, click on the link given in description section for create new Facebook page. There you will find two options, business or brand and community or public figure. Go with community or public figure, that is click on the get started in community or public figure. Give the name and category for your page, click on continue. You have to hide that page. If you make this page public, then anyone can from any corner of the world will trigger your electrical appliance. In order to hide that page, click on setting, go for page visibility. There will be so two options, page published and page unpublished. Tick the page unpublished and click on the save chance. Now the second step is to make account in chat field setup. There you can set your virtual bot. Sign in the chat field account with your page created previously. There you will see dashboard and click on the connect. Now select the Facebook page you want to connect with to start a app the chatbot go to the automate and edit to welcome message. This welcome message is customizable so you can enter message according to your requirement. After adding welcome message click on the default answer and edit the message according to your requirement. This default message is the automated response for command not program in your chatbot or for unexpected error. Now we had added the message for welcome and default answer. Now it's time to create a button for appliance on and off. For adding two button, you have to click the plus sign below add block here two times one for on and another for off the first block is for appliance on thus i rename it as appliance on click on the test button as shown in figure and add the message for appliance on that is what you want to display if anyone wish to switch on the appliance like okay first name your light is on or okay first name your appliance is on now again click on the plus button just below the add block here and rename it as appliance off. Put some masses for appliance off like ok first name your light is off. Now it's time to set up the AI rules. For that click on the button set up AI and again click on the blue button add AI rule. First, I would like to add the rule for appliance off. For that, in the box, in white box, you can add the possible word in order to turn off the appliance, like turn off the light or turn off the switch, turn off the appliance, etc. This AI must reply with blocks. For that, click on the block in right side and a drop down menu will appear. There, click on the appliance off button. 
add the corresponding block for appliance off some AI rule in the box like switch on the light or switch on the appliance select the suitable block for that from right side further setting in chat full are done after setting if triple t server before that let's set up the adafruit io adafruit io server is at the iot end esp826 is get connected with adafruit io server and execute the desired commands sign up or sign in to your adafruit io account from the link given in description section after creating adafruit account you will be taken to adafruit home screen select feed from menu and click action create a new feed from the drop down menu give the feed a name such as on off and leave the description section blank now click on the create button you will drag it to dash now click on plus sign blue on the top right side of dashboard to create a new block here a window is pop up Hit toggle block it's time to choose the feed for that tick the on off and click on the next step for that a window appear called block setting there you can add block title block on test and block of test here i had add one for block on test and zero for block of test after adding this click on the create block button now it's time to merge everything with server it's time to set up the server for that create an account on if triple t from the link given in description section by signing up with the same google account you are using on your phone go to my applets and then new applets click on plus this sign this process is six step long the first step is to choose the service for that search for webhooks and select it second step is to select the request of web service and fill the event name say light in my case and click on the create trigger after that another window appear there we will see that if uh, symbol of webhooks then plus that now click on plus that window for third step is appear again we have to choose the service for that search for add a fruit and select it step 4 for the first time it will ask you for add fruit login fill add fruit io account detail there and click on send data to add a fruit io now, step 5 is appear for send data to io account Fill action field by choosing your feed name on off and data to save the value 1 in add integer. Click on create action and finish. Now go to my applets and select your applet that you have created before. And there click on learn more and scroll down there you will see this applet sees the following service then click on webhooks after that click on documentation a new web page appear there you will get your key and url from here this window you will get your webhook key and url copy the url shown here and save it somewhere because you will need it later Make two links for light on and light off from this URL. Just by simply adding backslash question mark value one is equal to one and backslash question mark value one is equal to zero for light on and off respectively as shown here. You have to integrate these two URL to your chat full account. For that, open appliance on and appliance off plug created in chat full platform. It's time to add JSON API to these appliance on and appliance off button. For that, select plus sign in add a card menu of appliance on block. Now click on JSON API from chat fill plugin menu and select as post type and add a URL. Did for value one is equal to one similarly do this for appliance of also see the demo how these applets update the adafruit io server in real time for that click on my applets and the applets we have created for that click on learn more section and scroll down 
click on Wayworks. For that, click on Documentation. In place of event, write the name of your event you have created. Let's say Light and update the value of value one that you have created. Let's can see in Adafruit IO, the toggle is already in off position. Let's give the value of one and test it. Value of toggle is updated in real time. Programming your node MCU, you need your Adafruit username and key. For that, click on the key symbol appear on top right corner will see your username and key save that username and key in any safe place because further while programming your node mcu you need that in the very next part of this video i will show you how to configure your arduino ide in order to program this node mcu and the entire circuit and arduino programming part light on similarly light off